0 to 60 miles per hour. 4 seconds. Fuck. <laughs> Porsche 959. Pied 1.188 meters. 1.186. Fuck. RPM. 5200. 7200. That's a beautiful car. There's no way you're gonna beat that. Horsepower 390. Hey, look what the cat is doing. It has 421 horsepower. What the hell? You just beat my Ferrari Testarossa. Well, you live in 1985 and I live in 2020. Good morning guys and welcome back to our channel. Remember the times when a Ferrari Testarossa with 390 horsepower was basically the fastest car on the road? Well, today you can get this kind of performance and even more in a hot hatch. And the latest trump card in the hot hatch game is the new Mercedes A45 S AMG. So what we are going to do with the car? We're gonna strap the car on our dyno, develop our tuning product for it and measure it 100 to 200 km per hour in stock and with the tune. So let's go. I need to know everything, who in the what and the where, I need everything Trust me, I hear what you're saying, but I like it's new what you're telling me I'm curious, George, I hop in the Porsche, there's five and a horse I'm ready for war, I'm coming for throws to turn to a ghost I need to know everything Now you be surprised at the info you get is by letting them talk, so I'm letting them talk Gotta keep quiet, maneuver in science, then let them in talk up their body Another one body, that's just how it go I got some secrets, I'm shaking the game so they stay on their toes Stay in your lane, out of state First of all, let's have a quick look at the car's design and talk about the technical specs If you watched our A35 AMG video from a few weeks ago You already know that in my opinion, the new A-Class in general is one of the prettiest If not the prettiest car in its segment Naturally I think that the A45S is a gorgeous car which looks really premium and expensive, which it better does considering its price. The only thing I'm personally not a huge fan of is the bright yellow color, but thankfully you can choose whatever color you like for your car. Technically, AMG really delivered for the new generation's engine. For me, producing 421 horsepower from just 2 liters of engine capacity for a car which you can basically use as your daily driver is kind of mind-bending to be honest. I mean, remember the F80 generation of the M3 which is just a few years old? It had just 10 horsepower more than this when it came out from a 3 liter inline 6. AMG pulled that off by fitting the engine internally called M139 with a huge twin scroll turbocharger which produces 2.1 bar in stock. Additionally, it has a closed deck cylinder head as well as forged aluminum pistons to make sure the fun doesn't end after a few thousand miles. Let's head to the road to see how the car performs. Okay guys, we are driving the A45 S AMG in stock conditions. And it's fast. It is. It really is fast. I mean, the last one was fast, yeah, but this definitely feels faster. And AMG did it again. It's the strongest 2.0 turbocharged engine in a production car. Absolutely, and it basically feels like they crammed the V6 in the front or something. It's, it's kind of crazy for a 2-liter engine, you just have to say. And also, what you feel right away is that they somehow managed to put a huge turbocharger in it. And when we say huge, we mean huge. We're gonna show you a picture of it later. But still, it has a good responsiveness. It actually feels a little bit like a naturally aspirated car, don't you think? Yeah, we saw that on our locks as well. Um, if you have a look at the boost curve, it picks up the boost by RPM quite nicely. So there is not like a huge chunk load of, of boost in like the lower RPM uh, areas. It picks up nicely over the RPM, which like gives you the feeling of driving an uh, NA engine while still having a huge turbocharger. Uh. Absolutely. Yeah, and what I also like is that this gives the car kind of a more serious character. It doesn't feel like some teeny hot hatch, which you can buy for $30,000, but yeah. instead it feels like a serious, expensive car, which it absolutely is. I mean, this is like $80,000 or more, right? And it's controllable, right? So you don't have totally. the feeling like it's totally. kicking in and you just like have no control over it, over it. And also, it sounds pretty good on the inside, yeah. which is good, but 
it sounds also like a lot of the sound is coming from the speakers, in my opinion. Definitely, we should uh, do a sound check now. I think so too. Let's head to the outside and see how it sounds from the outside. So guys, you probably remember the sound of the previous A45 AMG. Let's check out how the new one sounds like with all the new regulations. I need to know everything, who in the what and the where I need everything. Trust me, I hear what you're saying, but I like this new what you're telling me. I'm curious, George, I hop in the Porsche 5 and To give you some information about the engine, we are talking about a 2.0 turbocharged engine with 421 horsepower in stock. So actually 210 horsepower per liter, which makes it the strongest production 2.0 turbocharged engine ever. Yeah, over the last couple of um, weeks we developed a tune for it. Actually, we want to give you a little bit more details about the development now. So we're going to move over to my desk to show you boost pressure in stock and with the tune and actually give you a little bit more insights about the development process, about software development and stuff like that, if you are interested in that, of course. And after that, we are coming back to the dyno and we're going to show you the final result of the A45. Two weeks later. So um, to give you a little bit more uh, deep dive into the software development, um, by the way, everything is done in-house hardware firmware and software, everything is done here uh, at this office and at the development center. How are we going to start um, the development on a, on a new engine? Basically, we are logging all the important values um, for, for this engine on the dyno and uh, on the street. Values like uh, ignition timing, boost pressure, fuel pressure, different temperature values, so we actually can see how the engine behaves uh, under stock conditions, right? And after that, the, the next step would be to, like, write the first mapping based on the informations uh, or information you're getting from, from, from the logs we did in, in stock conditions. And then you're writing the, the, first, um, the first step into, into the software and give it a try and see um, how the car reacts, how are, like, is the ECU reacting, how is the boost pressure reacting, different pressure values and, and, and all that. And based on all that information, so you're gonna optimize your software step by step. So how does the software look like? This is now here on that screen, you can see um, a raw written software, basically just the code. Um, but uh, we developed, of course, our own tools to make the, to have a graphic overlay um, for, for the software, which you can see on the, on the right screen now. Um, this is our own developed tool. We, we do call it service tool. And you have all the possibilities to choose like which kind of function you want to use for for that particular uh, engine and modification you're, you're you're trying to achieve as you can see on the screen we have a lot of options to choose from to make the tune perfect and, and really smooth and uh, of course you you're going to write the software do some tests and then you're going to look at the values again to see how the engine reacts on that how the boost pressure reacts on that, how the temperature values react on, on, based on your changes and what is actually happening to the engine. Then you're gonna write the next map uh, and do some improvements and see if it's actually an improvement or actually you, you made things worse and that's how actually the software development process works. So as you can see we invest a lot of time and a lot of effort to get the software done right for each engine um, to make the tune safe, to check if the values are like still in the area where we want them to, to be and make uh, adjustments based on that to make really everything like perfect. So I would say let's go back to the dyno and check out how much power we can get out of the 845. So welcome back to our dyno. I'll give you also a small update regarding the installation process on the 2.0T uh, 845. We are connecting uh, to three different sensors, intake pressure, tool pressure and camshaft signal. Installation is a little bit harder, so it roughly takes you around 35 to 40 minutes and you should have a uh, lift actually to, to get access to, to all the sensors. But as soon as you got that, it's not an issue at all. Uh, and of course, we are delivering the package um, with a detailed installation guide as well, so should not be an issue. Yeah, final performance figures. We ended up uh, at 491 horsepower 
and 550 newton meters of torque which is a really really awesome improvement over stock and as you can see orange uh, line is tuned torque red line is uh, tuned horsepower blue line is tuned wheel horsepower basically you have all the torque all over the rpm range really really nice gain feels really really awesome on the street and the engine handles the tuning really really well so i would say we move over to the autobahn measure 100 to 200 uh, and see actually by how much we can drop the time so tuning is active now um, we switched it to map 7 so we are looking now at 491 horsepower and a lot of torque and um, yeah during the development process actually like we kept the boost curve basically the behavior the same just increased uh, the boost a little bit so the car should actually feel the same in picking up the rpm just like a lot more powerful yeah so my job is to see if you're actually right right so here's the straight line let's see what happens <laughs> I think we started at 30 kilometers per hour and this was easily lose your license territory now. Yeah. It's and fucking of fast we, now. We are in Mexico right now. Yeah, of course, of course, because we don't need a license there. Yeah, and AMG did an awesome job to be honest. I mean, yeah, you're it's not, crazy. You're never gonna know you're driving a 2.0 T-Rex if you're driving the car. No, no. It's like actually on this those red roads, even with four-wheel drive, you kind of have traction problems now when you accelerate in a straight line because all four wheels don't manage to get the power to the road, which, I mean, it's almost 500 horsepower. You have to imagine how much that is for a two-liter turbocharged it's engine in a hot hatch. Simply, simply crazy and really, really impressive. And I mean, if you just look at the performance figures, that is like BMW M3 territory, right? So I'm really looking forward to the to the autobahn acceleration Pretty because sure people are gonna hate uh, hate us uh, on that. But it actually feels really really good. Yeah, I know. I mean, we're also both kind of in love with BMW. Yeah, yeah, but this is a good car. You just have to say. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I would say just let's head to the autobahn and see how fast this thing is because I think. There will be a lot of six-cylinder engines which have to be scared of this. Definitely. Which is crazy. So, let's go there. Ghost, I need to know everything. Now you'll be surprised at the end you... The A45 SAMG pulls off a stock time of 10.22 seconds, which is just completely nuts. Let's bring that into perspective. Our stock Audi RS3 with its famous 5-cylinder engine pulled off a time of 11.1, meaning a whole second slower. The brand new BMW Z4 M4DI took 11.9 seconds for the same run, so almost 2 seconds slower. And both of them already are really fast cars. With our tune, it's almost another second faster, resulting in a time of 9.16. This is about as fast as the stock Lamborghini Urus with 650 horsepower. Just like that, from a tuned four-cylinder engine. Crazy times we're living in. So, what do we think about the A45 SAMG as a car in general? We all know it got some pretty critical reviews from well-known car journalists and most of the points of criticism were about how the car behaved on the track. Since we didn't track the car, we can't really judge that. On the road, however, this thing is a beast. You're talking about performance in the range of a BMW M3 or Audi RS4 in a hot hatch with a four banger. It's really impressive from a technical point of view and it's also a great daily driver thanks to the hatchback body style and the great interior with the MBUX infotainment system. So if you have enough money to spend and if you're not planning to track the thing on a regular basis, you will definitely be very happy with the A45, especially if you tune it to almost 500 horsepower with our performance boost. Is there a catch? Well, unfortunately Mercedes seems to know they built a good car and hence they let you pay for it. 
The car we tested costs almost 80,000 euros, which is a crazy amount of money for a hot hatch. But if you're willing to spend that, have fun hunting six and eight cylinder cars on the Autobahn. That's it for this week's video, guys. If you liked the video, leave us a like, post your opinion about the A45 in the comments, and of course, subscribe to our channel to never miss a future release. See you in a few weeks.